What our research brings as a new perspective is what we like to call the supply chain perspective of hedging. You cannot decide on hedging by uh, standing alone as a firm and thinking about what are the market imperfections. If they are financing costs or taxation uh, or uh, agency issues that you would like to consider in deciding if you are going to hedge a commodity or not. You got to understand the supply chain you are part of and whom you depend on. How do you depend on your suppliers? How do you depend on your buyers or at the overall market? And then you are going to make an informed decision when to hedge and to what extent to hedge the commodities that are involved in your products. And furthermore, we clearly point out the role that supply chain contracts play in effective hedging of commodity prices. A wholesale price contract will require both suppliers and buyers to hedge their unique commodities and they got to make sure that their partner hedges at the same time. For the pass-through contract, in order to work very effectively, it becomes extremely important for the downstream buyer where the shift has been uh, shifted to effectively hedge other commodities that are involved in their products. And by doing so, actually, this is the best, especially in environments where firms have to borrow in order to finance their purchases and their production in a volatile commodity prices that will allow both the buyer to control their own financing cost as well as create an environment where there are very little risk for the supplier and therefore the supplier can afford to have a low interest rate loan from the bank or other entities that are going to finance their purchases. Finally, for the revenue sharing contract, as we argued, uh, can be a very effective contract as long as firms agree not only to share revenues and cost, but uh, at the same time they got to agree on the hedging practices in order to deal with the volatility of the commodity prices. The supply chain perspective on hedging is extremely important. You can't decide it alone. You got to understand who are your suppliers. You got to understand who are your buyers. What is the market structure you operate in? And you need to start thinking about the strategic interactions between you and your supplier and your buyers and how they are going to affect, finally, the contractual prices that will end up influencing the prices at which you sell your products. That is uh, what has become uh, what we believe a way to explain the differential hedging practices of firms in the current uh, environments where the volatility of commodity prices is substantial. We live in a low commodity price environment that creates its own risks, but we shouldn't forget that a few years ago we lived in a very high commodity price environment, and a few years down the road we don't know where we're going to be.